says, as he neared Damascus, the city that he was going to visit, trying to find Christians, on his journey, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground, and he heard a voice say to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? <laughs> can, you, can you imagine this? He's on his way to stamp out this, this false religion. They're following this new character named Jesus. And then suddenly on the road, this light blinds him, and this voice from heaven says, why are you persecuting me? Can you imagine how that went? So it just in the middle of, he's on his way to work. So just picture this. You're on your way to work. And if, and if that's kids for you, it's on your way to the playroom. Like whatever it is for you, you're on your way to work. You're just doing your thing. You're just, you're just minding your own business. You're not thinking about the God thing. You're, not, you're just marching through your day, and God interrupts you in a powerful way. Me. Well, here's the, here's the question. Why do you think you're here? How did you get here? You are minding your own business, doing your thing, and you somehow ended up here. And these may not be heavenly lights exactly, and I may not be a heavenly voice. I know I'm not a heavenly voice exactly. But what if one of the reasons you're here is that God is trying to get your attention on your path, just the way he did with Paul? Just a question. You might have your justification for why you've been living the way you've been living and the choices that you make. That's all fine. Paul had those too. But what if, what if this is one of those moments where God's saying, I love you, and I'm trying to get your attention? Now, here's the trippy part. This is really cool. The voice says, why do you persecute me? Now, if you look this word up in Greek, which is the, translate, which is the language it's written in, or if you don't even care about that, and you just looked up, bam, if you just looked up this word persecute in English in the dictionary, the root of the word persecute means to pursue. To pursue thoroughly or to pursue passionately. So do you see the pun here? Here's Saul, and he's trying to stamp out Christianity. He's trying to wipe every trace of this Jesus character off the face of the earth so that no one will ever believe in him again. And then Jesus shows up and on the path, he says, hey, Saul, how come you're so passionately pursuing me? Oh, I'm not pursuing you. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to do my own thing. I'm not, doing, I'm not doing the church thing. I'm not doing the Bible. I'm doing the exact opposite. And, and Jesus is like, really? So then why are we talking? It's just this weird reversal. See, so, so I can just imagine you thinking, well, oh, I'm not exactly like going after the whole God thing. Okay, so what is your thing? So the thing that, you know, that you're really, it could be your career, okay? It could be, could be your kids, it could be your family, it could be the corporate ladder climbing up and getting more, a better and better position. Maybe that's your thing. Well, what are you trying to get out of that? Well, I'm trying to get maybe a, a sense of purpose or like that's, that's kind of what it really gives me on a day-to-day -day basis, like this sense like my life is amounting to something. Okay, where do you think that came from? <laughs> maybe it comes from the source of all life who's using all these good things in our life to draw us to himself. And maybe we think we're pursuing an it. We're, we're pursuing that thing whether it's my career or that fulfillment or, or pleasure or whatever it is I'm pursuing. And Jesus goes, well, I'm just going to sit back and wait because all of this stuff eventually, if you're paying attention, actually leads to me. And the, the bizarre part is that even someone who's going the opposite direction, he thinks, of the way God may, might be leading in, in Jesus, he ends up talking to God on the road. He's trying to go the opposite direction. <sighs> this is really cool. This is really good news, or bad news, <laughs> depending on how far you're trying to run, because what it means is that nobody is out of God's reach.